everybody, it's Chris from ChristopherJ.net, and this is lesson DB6, how to tune the double bass. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you a little bit of what I've learned on how to tune the bass, and hopefully that'll help you too. Now, because of the, the low frequency of the bass strings, it's hard to hear uh, if you play the open strings when you're tuning. So the way I tune is using harmonics, and um, in the orchestra anyway, you typically start tuning uh, with an A, which is played either by the first violin, or maybe a, an oboe, or a piano, if there's a piano available. Um, but because I am uh, deaf in one ear, and accuracy is important to me, and speed, um, I use a little tuner, an electronic tuner. This one's made by Korg. Uh, I think it's model number AW2. Anyway, that's what it says on the front. I'll hold that up so you can hopefully see it. And uh, this is a nice little tuner because I can clamp it on um, the leg of my bridge and it has both a microphone input and a piezo input so with the piezo it'll pick up the vibrations off the instrument and uh, it's awesome so I can pluck that on there and turn it on and it has a nice um, indicator that's easy to see in the dark it kind of lights up actually it does light up not kinda and um, so that way, I can switch between the microphone and the piezo, and if the uh, violin's playing the tuning note, my chord tuner will pick that up and tell me whether uh, the violin reference note is right on frequency or if we're a little sharp or a little flat, because we all need to tune together. Anyway, the way you tune is to start with the A string, which is the third string, going from uh, the G string, one, two, three. So this is your A string. And like I said, the violin will play a tuning note and you match that by playing the harmonic, by putting your index finger lightly, um, I guess this is the third position, but you'll find if you play, you'll find you can get a harmonic when you're in the right spot. So you want to find the sweet spot. And if you look at my tuner, it's right on A. And if it's, if it's a little flat or a little sharp, you just reach up, grab your tuner and adjust accordingly. Play it again, double check it. When you're in tune, what you want to do is next tune the D string to match the pitch of the A string by playing a harmonic on the D string using your pinky or your fourth finger. There's a harmonic in that position on the D string which plays an A. So these two strings should match. to the A string. So if the D string plays a little bit flat or a little bit sharp, you just reach up, grab the tuner for the D, adjust it, check back, they should match. Okay. Now you do the same thing, tuning the G string to the D string. Start with your index finger on the D string in the same location that you started on the A string, except now you're on the D string. Play that, you should get a harmonic there. That's an octave higher than the open. Maybe it's two, harm two octaves. Anyway, that's also a D. And using your fourth finger on the G string down here, that should be a D, which should match the harmonic on the D string that you played. 
So that's the procedure you follow. And then finally, use your pinky or your fourth finger on the A string, and that will give you an, a harmonic which plays at an E. Then you can tune your low E string to that. Pretty cool, huh? And then you could play some uh, fifths or fourths to make sure nothing's changed. Because sometimes when you adjust one string, the tension changes a little bit overall on the instrument, and it'll change the tuning on one of the other strings. So always go back and then double check your tuning one last time. And that is how I tune my bass. Hope it works for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.